Hey, we're back, and our next guest is Karen Alasco, and Karen is an agent here at Remax Town Center, and today we are going to be talking about getting your home ready to sell. Yes. So for all you sellers out there, all two of you, um, <laughs> Karen is going to be talking about what to do to get your home ready to sell. Well, the first thing, Susan, and thank you for having me, is that a first impression is everything. You only have one time to make a good impression. You do. You do. And you want to be ahead of the competition. Mm -hmm. So that first impression is everything. And what you need to do is disassociate yourself from the home. I tell my sellers to uh, depersonalize their home and declutter. What I mean mm -hmm. by this is you have to walk through your home as if you're a buyer. Right. Okay. You know, right. I, and a buyer wants to see themselves in the home. If you have, for an example, uh, personal pictures up, yeah, you, you know, those old so baby right. pictures yeah. and everything, um, they're very, very cute and we appreciate them, but pack them and store them. Mm -hmm. um, any, uh, what we call, Chotskys. Yeah. You heard of this word, Chotskys? Chotskys. Yep. We've you know, seen Chotskys these and maybe like, yeah. some of the senior little, homes. Little <laughs> and things like that. Yeah. Yes. We want to take those and pack them up right. and make it more spacious. Now, talking about packing up, you just don't want to throw them in the garage because oh, yeah. they're going to look at the garage and um, when they look at the garage, if they see it cluttered, they're not going to know that it's a two-car garage. It looks smaller than it is. Right. So what you want to do if you cannot rent a storage place is that you want to get some containers. Right? Containers, just, just pack exactly. It away, put it so it's organized. A lot of people, they just, they just take their stuff and they just like throw it in the garage and you open the garage door and just mess everywhere. A mess everywhere. So try to organize your mess. You can even get those little labor labels yeah. and um, go ahead and label all your merchandise and, right. and your Chotskys <laughs> and everything like that. And um, you want to, you want to, again, I can't empathize a, 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 enough that you want your home to stand out amongst the competition. Right. This is very, very important. Um, the other thing is that a lot of people have a lot of furniture in their home. I'm sure oh, we've yeah, like, all walked into homes. Okay, like sometimes you open the door and they have, you know, a really nice but huge sectional couch. Yeah. You know, that just cuts off the doorways and cuts off the flow yes. that people walk through houses in. And, and you can't even get through. You can't. So what we want to do is get rid of some of that furniture mm -hmm. and make it more spacious in there. Um, again, uh, you can store it. Or um, if you do put it in the garage, make sure it's organized. Mm -hmm. But make a path through your house that flows and that is pleasing to the eye. Right, right. Another thing that I want to mention is the blinds in the house or if you have heavy draping. Uh, yeah, and really, it can just close it down, make it dark, and kind of give the house kind of a claustrophobic feeling. It's kind of like, like a doom and gloom. Yeah, exactly. You know, and, and doom and gloom is not what we're looking for here. Mm -hmm. We're looking for sparkle and shine. <laughs> that's, that's true, that's true. So, um, if you do have blinds, um, make sure they're clean. Oh yeah, so many times you see dust all over them, like oh, thick layers of dust, especially yes. when someone opens them and the sun comes through. You can just see the dust flying off the, you know, that doesn't make for a good first impression. It doesn't. It doesn't. It makes them think that the house wasn't taken care of, right? you know. So what you want to do is make sure that that is clean. Another thing you want to do is also if your house needs painting, mm -hmm. say I'm sure you walked into some homes, they got a blue bathroom, a purple bedroom. Right a green living room, right. you know, make it a neutral color right. that we exactly. all can place ourselves. Right. Because you know, when the buyer comes in, you want the buyer, again, to picture it like it's their own home. Exactly. And, you know, most buyers aren't going to have like a, a pink and purple bedroom. Yes. You know, unless you have kids. But I mean, yes. you, you want to kind of make it a, like a neutral shade, either sort of like a beige or an off-white kind of color. Uh, you know, something like that, um, just so that they, they can they imagine themselves in it. Exactly, and they can decorate it themselves. And, and it's so weird, but sometimes buyers, I mean, some buyers are great, and they <laughs> can walk into something and completely redo it, and, yes. which I would never have imagined, but a lot of them really cannot picture no. 
something. And and I've had people like, oh God, I couldn't live there. Did you see that pink wall? And it's like, come it's, on, you, you can, can paint, paint it. it. <laughs> but sometimes they just, they don't think like that. They don't think like that. So you want, uh, the key words are sparkle and shine. So again, you want to um, uh, do fresh paint if you possibly can. And another thing is if you do have carpet, make sure the carpet is clean. We're not asking you to replace the carpet, again, because the buyer might want to decorate himself. He may want to pull up the carpet and put something else down. Yeah. So, but we do want that sparkle and yeah. shine. Give um, a good steam clean. A good steam know, clean. So it looks fresh. Yeah. The only thing it I, smells fresh. The other thing I was thinking too is smell, like you just yeah. said. It's like when you're, if you're walking to a house, and it smells like cigarettes. I was just going to say that. Or it smells like dog. Yeah. You know, you want to you know, just throw some Glade plug-ins in and open some windows and try to get some fresh air in there. <laughs> yes. <So. laughs> Spray it a little bit. Exactly. So we want to make sure that that is all done and that, again, that it's uh, sparkle and shine and that the carpeting is clean and that the people can um, imagine themselves in their home, in your home as their home. That's the most important thing that we want to do. Another thing is, is when you're showing your home, um, lighten it up, turn on lights, you know, make sure uh, the blinds are open. We removed the heavy drapery already, but make sure the blinds are open. Yeah. It's bright and cheery. Right. So yeah. we have sparkle and clean and bright and cheery. And, are smell, the and smells good. <laughs> and smells good. Yes, we okay. must have it smell is, good. Is there anything else you can think of offhand? Well, yes. Well, if you have a little leak, say the faucet oh. is leaking in the bathroom, make sure you repair it. It might be as simple as $40, but repair it because uh, people can't imagine if they think you let that go, you might have let something else right. go in the house. Right. As a matter of fact, Corinna, a lot of agents now, what they're starting to do is they're starting have their sellers perform a physical inspection yes, prior to listing you. the home and yes. then that way the seller will can have all the little things repaired so that the buyer doesn't get nitpicky on every little thing when it's when it's listed. That is so, a good point, and, and I'm glad that you brought yeah, that up. Especially with the CFPB in place right now, you yes. don't want to make any changes after you're already in escrow. So it's best to really take care of this stuff prior to opening escrow. Oh, that is such a good point. And in closing, I want to say we covered the house. The buyer's gonna look at your house, uh, you know, in their eyes walking through, but also don't neglect your outside of your home. You wanna have good curb appeal, which means cut your grass. Uh, you might wanna buy a couple of potted plants to uh, cheery up the porch there and um, make sure that it's pleasing to everyone so that it has good curb appeal. And then you'll be ready for showtime. And showtime is your realtor is gonna do a start uh, his or her work in getting your home uh, ready to prepare on the market and you did your part great all right well thank you so much thank you if anyone wants to reach Corena again her name is Corena Lasco and Corena what's your website uh, my website is Corena Corena sorry <laughs> Corena Lasco homes dot com and it's 818-489-6973 is my phone number and uh, it's been a pleasure oh, okay. thank being you so much here. we really thank you it. thank right. you for having me all right we'll be back in a minute you dreamt of a condo next to the train. Then I showed you how it shook as it came. And you saw close to and next to are not quite the same. Let a Remax agent guide you. Remax, dream with your eyes open. We're back. Our next segment is a day in the life of a new agent. And we have Ajit Malik and Karina Rosales. And guys, this week you were cold calling. What can you say about cold calling? Well, I do have to say that it has its name for a reason, cold calling. You do actually have to have cold blood and also a thick skin. <laughs> the reason being is because you're in the middle of saying what you have to say or your pitch to the other person on the other, other side of the phone, and you're not 100% aware of if they're going to actually hang up or they're going to continue speaking to you or they're actually going to vent to you about their day. And I'm not saying in a whole positive, positive way. Yeah. I've had multiple phone calls, people telling me not to call, stop calling me, take, take me off your call list. But what they don't understand is this, that as a realtor, it's my job to see whether or not who needs our help and our assistance in order to get their home sold, right? Right. So 
I'm just doing my part of the job, of course, of prospecting, and that is the cold calling part. And I do have to say it's a wonderful experience so far. My team and I really do enjoy it because we, this is how guess, we get paid. Yeah, you look like you have fun. They've got the music going and lots of energy back there. And it does. It, the thing is, is you've got to be able to laugh it off when someone's rude to you. Mm -hmm. um, and your job is to find that one person that is ready to go. How, how do you feel about it? Well, it is very difficult to actually get a lead from cold calling. But you got one. Which I got one, which was Yay. very exciting. <laughs> uh, but yeah, it does take a lot of work. It does take numerous phone calls, you know, every morning for, I've been doing it, what, for two months now? Yeah. Maybe even more. And it's very difficult to try to have a conversation with someone and actually get them to be interested in what you're trying to provide. But it's very fun. Um, it, it gets the job done and it gets you out there. Yeah. Well, one good thing, too, is you both speak a bit of Spanish. Mm -hmm. And I know yes. that you've oft, often got people who will speak Spanish. And, you know, you're able to at least translate the scripts. So that's, that's great that you can do that. Yeah. So once you guys start your actual practice in about a month or two, you should be ready to cold call, right? Yes. So you've already pretty much integrated it almost on a daily basis. So mm -hmm. that's really good. I'm really proud of you guys. Let's take a look at the video that we shot the other day of them actually making their phone calls. Going live, going live. <clears throat> Hello, hi, my name is Vajit Malik with Remax Town Center. And I was wondering, when do you plan on this? Or if you're interested in knowing the value of your home, please feel free to contact me back at your Hi, my name is Seth with Remax Town Center. And I was wondering, when do you plan on moving? Or if you're interested in knowing the value of your home, please give me a call back at 747-258-6622. Thank you. Once again, this is Seth with Remax Town Center. Hi, how are you doing tonight? Routine. Oh, okay. okay. Great, great. Great. Are you interested in Oh, you're looking into moving really soon, right? Oh, great. Let me go ahead and take down your information really fast. No, I think I have it right here. 17807 Collins Street, Encino. Okay, thank you so much. Really appreciate that. Okay, great. I'm going to go ahead and transfer to my realtor. One second. Hello. I'm going to you I just to get this from the Town Center. And I was just wondering, when do you plan on moving? If it's in the near future, or you would simply love to know the value of your home, please give me a call at 818-212-3319. Once again, my name is Karina Rosales with Remax Town Center, and my number is 818-212-3319. Thank you, and have a nice day. Where's my house? Cut it, cut it, cut it. Gotta stretch the fingers for this dying pattern, you see? Gotta stretch them out. Would I stretch my finger real quick, like this? Oh, that was great. All right, well, what keeps you guys going? Because you do get a lot of rejection. Mm -hmm. Well, I mean, out of most phone calls that we make, only about 25% of those phone numbers are actually valid. Mm -hmm. um, you know, sometimes people won't answer, they're not in service, whatever. A fax, do. don't you hate faxes? Or fax mm -hmm. machines, yeah. Um, but out of those 25%, about 99% of those people are gonna say they don't want your help, they don't need you. Right. Uh, but I mean, you just have to be absolutely persistent and if I wasn't making those phone calls every day in the morning, I would be nowhere. Right. Yeah, so, yeah but <laughs> it's true. you just have to be very persistent. Right, what about Wayne Gretzky, what did he say? <laughs> Wayne Gretzky, <laughs> as he said once before, he, um, he said that you miss 100% of the shots that you don't take. Yeah, Karina is a big Kings fan. Go Kings! <laughs> all right, Majid, how do, you keep, how do you get through all these phone calls? Well, it's more like a mindset, mm -hmm. to be honest with you. And then also, some of my team members actually said that as well, that every time you pick up the phone call, try to picture every time you actually have a conversation with somebody, or let's say it's disconnected, like we were saying, um, the facts, or someone that's not interested in buying or selling or even know anything about their home, um, just picture that each phone call is approximately $5. So when you do get that phone call, that successful lead from cold calling, you get the deal closed, then there's your whole commission check from making those phone calls. Right, because if you're just sitting in your desk, nothing would happen. Mm -hmm. So Exactly. All right. All right, great. Well, guys, continued good luck, and next month we'll go on to another topic. All right, All right. thanks. Pay attention to the next commercial. Everyone builds dream houses. But when you dream, you close your eyes. 
That's why you need a guide. To see if it's too close to the train. To line up a good school. And remind you of the cost of a pool. With a Remax agent, you will see how much better than a dream home the right home can be. Remax. Dream with your eyes open. Alright, next we have Peter Michael Chuck in North Hollywood and he's taking a tour of Maria Villa's new listing located at 11059 Hatter Street. And what this is is two units on a lot and they're really wonderful. So Peter, take it away and give us a tour. Good morning. My name is Peter with Remax Town Center and one of our agents, Maria Avila, Maria Avila is here to show you her new duplex. Two wonderful units, newly built and absolutely gorgeous. Maria? Something you will love in the city of North Hollywood. Please come and see inside. I'll show you what we have. The three bedrooms, two baths, beautiful high ceiling. Maria, this place is awesome. We've got 12 foot ceilings, recessed lighting, and just absolutely gorgeous. Everybody will love this property. Come and see. with a beautiful four bedroom, two bath, uh, 200 square feet. Very nice. And I noticed the kitchen had port stone counters and all modern amenities. Maria, as we're leaving, I want to thank you very much for allowing us to look at your incredible duplex. Well, thank you for coming in and be able to... And good luck on your sale. Hopefully we will, and it's going to sell very quickly. Thank you. Have thank a great you. day. Thank you. Same to you. Thanks, Pete and Maria. All right, now let's take a look at some of the other listings we have for sale here at Remax Town Center. Thanks so much. I hope everybody enjoyed the broadcast and have a great Thanksgiving and we'll see you next month.